Hello everyone, this is Justin from DataCamp, and today we'll be covering the basics of using Python in a notebook environment. We're going to go over key skills such as running a code cell, printing, mathematical operators, and variables. We're going to be using DataCamp Workspace, which is an online ID where you can write code, analyze data collaboratively, and share your insights. If you'd like to follow along in this exact workspace, you can follow the link in the description below and register for a free account. So to start, we're going to write some Python code and print some text uh, to the screen. So we're going to use the Python print function. Now, a function is a block of code that typically takes in input and returns output. To do so, uh, we just write it out by name, print, followed by some parentheses, and then we pass in the input, which is also known as an argument. And in this case, we're going to pass in some text, otherwise known as a string. So we're going to write it in the, the text we want to print in quotation marks, and we're going to write, hello world. Now, there are a number of ways that you can run a code cell. You can click run. You can also uh, use keyboard shortcuts, such as control return, um, which will run the cell in isolation, or you can use shift return, which will run the cell and automatically highlight the next cell. So if we run this, we get the expected output of hello world. Now, you can also add code comments to your script to make it more readable. These are notes that won't be run as Python script, but it'll allow you and others to understand what is going on with the script. And to write a code comment, you simply add a hashtag before your uh, note, and then the note that you want to add. So here, we're going to add the line below prints hello world. Now, if we write the same code as before, run it, we get the exact same output, but now there's a comment that can help people understand what's going on. And this is especially important when your scripts get more complicated. The next thing I want to cover is using uh, mathematical operators in Python. So Python can behave in much the same way as a calculator. So if we use the Python print function again, we can add two numbers using the plus symbol, so 5 plus 5. We can perform subtraction, so 10 minus 5 using uh, the minus symbol. We can also perform multiplication using the asterisk symbol, so 2 times 3. And we can also perform division, so 12 uh, divided by 6 using the forward slash. Now, variables are a way for Python to store values using a specific name. Um, so in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a variable and name it x, and then we're going to assign a value to it using the equal sign and the value we want to store to it. So we're going to use 5. Now, you can refer back to a variable at another point uh, simply by referring to the variable. So we're going to use the print function again, and we're going to print the value of x. And sure enough, see that we've stored uh, it as 5. You can use variables in much the same way as you would use their values. So we can now add numbers to the variable x. So let's add 10 to x. And sure enough, we'll get the result of 15. Um, so 10 has been added to the stored value of 5. Now, depending on the type of variable, these operations may behave differently. For example, adding three strings together with a plus symbol will uh, concatenate them into one longer string. So let's initialize three variables, a, b, and c. And for a, we'll give a sentence of learning Python is fun. For b, we'll just use a space to separate our sentences. And c, we'll say, you should try it. Now, let's assign them all together, or, or add them all together, and assign the result to the variable a, b, c. So a plus b plus c. And now, if we print the result, which is a, b, c, we'll see that all three sentences or tr strings have been added together. <clears throat> now, these are just two variable types um, that we've covered, uh, numbers and strings, but there are many other types of variables in Python. And you can use the type function to print out the type of a variable. So let's try that out by printing out the type of x. And if we print it, we'll, we'll get int, which is short for integer, meaning it's a whole number. Similarly, we can perform the same uh, function with uh, uh, ABC, which we assigned earlier, and we'll see, get str, which is short for string, meaning it's a text object. 
Um, but there are many other different data types in Python. So two more examples are floats and booleans. So a float variable is also a numeric variable, but it has a decimal with it. So let's do assign to y 2.5. And if we print out the type of y, we'll see that it's a float. Um, now a Boolean is a true false variable. So let's create another variable z and we'll assign to it uh, true. And we do this in with a capital T or a capital F if you're assigning false without quotation marks. And now if we um, print out the type of z, we'll see that it's bool, which is short for Boolean. And that's everything we're going to cover in this tutorial today. If you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for future tutorials. And be sure to check out the resources in the description below. Happy coding.